Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate is a whole new beast compared to Monster Hunter World. If you're starting new or coming from Astera, here are a few things that you might not pick up on right away that could really make your time in GU a little easier. In order to get access to the insane number of quests, you'll have to talk to people in different towns. Don't forget to check your map off and hunt down anyone who needs to talk to you, especially if they have a red talk box, as those are key quests. When preparing for a quest, it's a great idea to register your item sets, and make multiple for different occasions. This will save you tons of time, just pay attention if you run out of an item. When eating a meal, there are many skills that can help you, but Feline Explorer is one you should definitely pay attention to. If you get it, you will spawn in the location's secret area if it has one. Secret areas hold a few extremely good gathering spots for rare items, so take advantage of this and be sure to leave room in your item bag for goodies. Speaking of items, in Generations Ultimate, you have a very limited number of item slots in your bag. If you fill up your bag by bringing too many items with you, you won't be able to gather much or carve monsters. This is why it's important to manage your items very well in every quest. Only bring what you're sure you're going to need and spend a little time in every quest gathering. Should you fill up your bag, however, you can perform a once in a quest supply delivery by returning to camp and talking to this little guy. Give him the items you want him to bring back to town for you and he'll free up some space in your bag. You'll also notice that your item box at home has a limited number of pages. When you can, buy the expansion books from the shop in town to add a few pages, then pay attention to the lab in the Soratorium to expand it even further so you don't run out of space as easily. Item management is very important. You should also be buying the Book of Combos when you unlock them. Unlike World, GU has a percent failure for combinations. If you fail a combination, you'll get trash. With these books, when brought with you on a quest, will increase your odds of a successful combination. Always be sure to bring them with you when you're looking to combine ammo or something during a quest. Otherwise, just keep them in your box and combine from the box to always have 100%. Headed out on a quest but not sure what element to bring? The monster references are a little limited in GU, so head to the armory and if you've unlocked that monster's armor, check out its elemental weaknesses to help you decide what to fight it with. Pay attention to the subquest section of a quest. These are typically very easy to complete and a great way to get more items that you'll surely need. The armor system is different in GU in that you can make almost any skill decoration, but talismans are a random drop system. I won't get into the details of how the talisman system actually works, but just know that these basically dictate your final armor skills and you will get different ones than all of your friends. Utilize the melder as much as possible and always mind to get more charms that turn into talismans. You'll learn what to keep and what to turn into Melder Fuel eventually, but if you have any doubts, just keep it. Need to quickly get somewhere at the start of a quest? A lot of base camps have unmarked shortcuts you can take. When starting that base camp in higher G rank, you won't get any supplies. Be sure to bring everything you might need with you. Supplies will come in a few minutes into the start of a quest, so if you want to bring a Farcaster to run back and get these, you can. Alternatively, once you unlock the Soratorium Lab, you can pay for supply drops that land at your positions or nearby. Be sure to grab these quickly, as they will disappear. Scout flies aren't a thing in GU, so always bring paintballs to track monsters, and use Psycho Serums to help show you where they're at in a quest. You can also eat for Oracle to learn where they start, or if you're out of everything, you can look for the Ballooner. If he's there, just use the wave gesture to mark the monster on your map for a short time. Don't want to chase a monster around? Certain monsters like Rathalos and Rathian will come to you if you pick up a Wyvern Egg in an area. When you mount a monster, hold R the entire time and only mash X when the monster's face is green and the camera zooms in. When the camera zooms out, the monster will attack and the face will turn red. 
You need to brace. There is no moving around to avoid the attack. During this time, others should attack the monster to help move the gauge along and help topple the monster. If you're ever pinned by a monster, mash A and rotate the left analog stick feverishly. Pins are extremely dangerous, so you need to get out of them as soon as possible. Alternatively, if you or someone else has a dung bomb, throwing this will end the pin immediately. There are a lot of status ailments in GU. Most of them are cured by items, like null berries, but some you shouldn't waste an item slot on. Cleansers will take care of mud and snowball, but you also could just rotate the left analog stick quickly to remove this. This also works for stun. Keep in mind that when making armor, you can create blade master or gunner armor. With the exception of helms that can be used as either, this will limit what you can actually wear. Press plus to sort by either class, and be sure to make the right one. Going on a quest just to gather is essential to Monster Hunter. But if you don't want to waste the pickaxes or supplies, consider going as a palico. They have infinite stamina, don't require hot or cool drinks, and also don't need axes or bug nets, meaning you can gather more. Finally, keep in mind that you need everything. Unlike Monster Hunter World, many armors and weapons will require you to have various monster parts or gathered materials. Because of this, it is a great practice to use the turn system in online lobbies. Give everyone a chance to post their quest and help them complete it. You never know what you're going to need one day. Hopefully this has helped you at least a little. Generations Ultimate is an amazingly fun game with enough content to keep you busy for years. So what are you waiting for? Get out there and get hunting.